Konbanwa minasan, it's Christy Bryant with the Austin Oita Sister City Committee. So glad you're joining us again for 30 things to celebrate 30 years, celebrating the 30th anniversary of Austin's sister city relationship with Oita, Japan. We had to cancel our summer festival, so we decided, what can we do? Let's celebrate Japan online. Everybody's sheltering in place. The earth is trying to heal. Hopefully you are well, and um, hopefully this is giving you something to do while you stay at home and um, we get everybody to where life is somewhat back to normal again. So tonight we have a really special treat. We have Take, owner chef from Kome Restaurant. He is gonna take you through the whole process of prepping a Madai fish. Um, when I look Madai up, I see it as red snapper, but I also see that specifically it is not snapper, it is sea bream. So um, I think those fish are actually very similar, but this is a Madai fish. He's gonna show you how to sear it, also um, to uh, make it into sashimi. This is the whole fish. So I hope you enjoy it. Take and uh, Kayo from Kome Restaurant are special friends of the Austin Oita Sister City Committee. We really appreciate their support and we want to support them. Restaurants have been hit so hard, so hard. All the small businesses, um, I know folks who work at Kome, who they are no longer working there. They'll go back once everything has returned. So I encourage you to support your local restaurants. Um, Kome, if you go to their website, you can order um, from the website and then pick up. And uh, please do so. Uh, support our businesses. Let, let's get the economy moving as best as we can. So without further ado, um, here's Take with Kome. And one other quick note, just want to let you know, you can always go back and look at these videos later. So if you didn't catch it when it um, came on Facebook at seven o'clock, you can go back. They're on, they're on Facebook, they're on YouTube, they're on Periscope and Twitch. Please go back and check out all these awesome, awesome videos. So much great information about Japan and also our local artists and uh, restaurants here in Austin. Without further ado, here's Take with Kome. Hello, my name is Take. I'm chef and owner of the Kome. Today, uh, I have to show you how to sanmai oroshi, the madai. I have the Japanese madai. Beautiful. And there is a <coughs> couple ways to uh, take off the scale, tools, knives, and uh, if you use the tools, it's gonna be uh, around the <coughs> scales go around everywhere and it's gonna messy. So today I'm going to show you how to use a knife. So move the knife back and forth from tip to the tail. Just keep go straight to the end. So this one doesn't go get too messy. Most of the scale, I don't know. It's a little bit tiny. Okay, hold on. Not 
too much mess. Next, I'm going to take the heads off from here and uh, clean the guts. The head, I like to leave the the fin in here, so I cut the heads from here to here all the way down here. So first, open the, the gill and just cut remove the gill and the other side. And this is a hard part. If you have a, the, your knife is a devil, like heavy enough, so you can just slice down heads off. Take the heads off. And inside the guts. So this is a uh, clean, unscaled, and no heads right now. And let me wash this one inside quickly, and I will come back to you. All right. So the mother is clean now. So I'm going to slice some my oroshi the mother right now. So from the Right body side, I'm going to slice that. The skin and meat, and you feel the the touch the bone here and stop, and turn around. Skin's first. Just the skin. Make a line here. And feel the bone go around a little bit. Just using the this part of the knife to do the skin right here, and I'm using the this part of the knife to all the way to the the meat. See, and the other side. Only this part is already cut, so just like a halfway. And this knife way to the meat. And now it's a tricky part. The you need to cut off like this bone. So the <coughs> stand up the knife is up and just cut it along. Now 
is beautifully three piece now. Alright, now I'm showing you the how to sear the skin side of the mud eye. Uh, this is uh, the hot water sear, so nearly the boiling temperature water for the whole way. This is a cool pot. And ice box. can see the nice the skin pattern of the mud eye here. The mud eye skin is very tasty so it's very <coughs> if you have the fresh mud eye and the sashimi pot maybe the one side with the skin and the other side without the skin you can you can try the both Okay, so the next piece I like to show the how to the skins off. So this one is uh, the sear. I like to say the so this is skins are edible, but this one is a uh, it's not a sear here. So I'm going to take the skins off for the guts. You see the this line? I just cut the guts. Off of this. And there is a bone here. You can use the the tweezers to pick, but the the mud eye is a, a, it's hard to pick the bones and easy to break. So I like to just cut trims off the middle bone here. See, so this is all the bone here. And uh, this one the changing the color for the, the guts. So it's still edible, but like uh, the it's kind of bitter flavor, so I just trim it off. Alright. So now I'm going to scrape the uh, the mother is maybe a dry towel to grab the skin I just trim the little bit tails off to easy to grab the skin side no skin Same thing on the other side. And one more piece right here. So this skin. This is like an edible skin, the sear. Now 
Okay, here's a bone. So this whole piece is uh, the result of the madai, the piece of the madai things. Hi, I'm back. The, this time I like to show how to make a sliced madai and uh, to make a sushi and sashimi piece. All right. The last time I used the the this the knife the gyuto or maybe deva you use the to, because the, I used this knife for cutting like a hard bones but this time I'm using the sashimi knife like this you have the sashimi knives at home this is the time you, you can you guys can use it all right so the sashimi so I'm, I'm not I'm not going to use this knife now and only this one so uh the let's see <coughs> the sashimi always like a skin side is bottom and the higher side is like a, the board and you can go slice to just one move no go back and forth and when you finish slightly you can stand up the knife which ways the this lines has a more edge if you go just one move it's like a more like a carpaccio style. If you can try like a carpaccio style, you can try very thin, paper thin. Trust your knife. No power. You don't need like you know, just very strong power. Trust the knife. So this is a carpaccio style. For the lens. The nigiri length, probably like a four, four fingers length is a good amount, and the two fingers wide. Alright, so this is like a, a sushi and carpaccio style. And you can also use for like a sashimi. In a sashimi, you can just go straight. And then when you show always like your skin side is up, so this is like a sashimi case. This is the difference. The sushi has a little long and sashimi has like a, a nice bite size. Alright, same thing the skin. The skin. Skin side down. This is sushi style, and sometimes the even though although the the skin side is seared, maybe sometimes chewy to cut, so you can just maybe two slice. And now I'm going to 
make a nigiri and sashimi set. Sushi rice, wasabi, Daikon radish called a tsuma in Japanese. Why we use the daikon radish? The eating with the, the raw fish, some the fresh vegetables is the the help to digesting. And uh, some nice shaped leaves. Shiso is better. But I don't have the shiso right here, so I can use. Alright, sashimi, two ways. Maybe a little bit wasabi on here. This amount of rice. Has a little bit air inside. Not too tight. One here. Little bit wasabi. Not too much. All right. Maybe two ways. Doesn't that look delicious? Oishiso! Thank you, Take. I hope everybody orders from Kome this week. Kome will be back next week with part two, and tune in tomorrow for part two from Texas Sake. The Austin Oita Sister City Committee would like to thank our sponsors City of Austin Cultural Arts Division, Tell, First Texas Honda, Best of Austin Living Team at Keller Williams Realty, Bruce Gardner Insurance and Investments. This project is supported in part by the Cultural Arts Division of the City of Austin Economic Development Department. Thank you to Austin and Oita City Hall and staff. Thank you to Austin Sister Cities International, Sister Cities International. Thank you to the board members who made this possible Julianne Marie, Miho, Susan, and Christie. Thank you to all the OSCC board members who regularly volunteer their time. For for more information about the Austin Oita Sister City Committee, visit us at austinoita.org. That's austinoita.org or check us out on Facebook.